Hi children, this is Swarna Deepa. Today we are going to learn our new chapter. That is chapter number 2, Measurement. Measurement, what is measurement? Measurement is nothing but measuring something. That is measuring the length or size of something. Okay, already you learned this chapter measurement in your 6th standard in Max as well as in Science also. Am I correct? Yes. The same topic we are going to learn but with different content. Okay. In 6th you might have learned the area and perimeter of square, rectangle and triangle. So now in 7th standard first term we are going to learn area of parallelogram, rhombus and trapezium. These are the new shapes. Okay. We are going to learn about these shapes and we are going to learn how to find out the area of these shapes. That is these uh, particular shapes that is parallelogram, rhombus and trapezium. Okay, shall we go into our topic? So in this chapter, we are going to learn the area and perimeter of parallelogram, rhombus and trapezium. Okay, with suitable examples, okay, we are going to find out the area of parallelogram, area of rhombus and then area of trapezium. Likewise, we are going to learn the perimeter of these shapes also, right? So now, before learning this uh, area of these uh, new shapes, you should know what is mean by area and what is mean by perimeter. So, let us recall that. Okay, what is area? Area is the space enclosed by a closed figure. Area is nothing but the space enclosed by a closed figure. For example, I have taken one square A, B, C, D and the area of the square is nothing but the Space enclosed by a closed figure. That is this part. We have, we have to find out the find out this part that is known as area. Okay. So the space enclosed by a closed figure is said to be area. Okay. What is mean by perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around a shape. Okay. For example, I have taken one rectangle. So, if I am starting from here and if I am measuring the distance from L to L, that is known as perimeter. Okay. Uh, already you learned the formulas for finding out area of square, rectangle and triangle. Let us recall that also now. Okay. Now, we are going to recall the formulas you learned in your 6th standard. Okay. Already you learned these Three shapes in your sixth standard that is square, rectangle and right triangle. So we are going to recall the formulas for finding out the area and perimeter of these three shapes now. Okay. So I have drawn a square here with the side A. So for, for, formula for finding out the area of the square is A into A square units. Okay. So likewise for finding out the perimeter of the square we have to start from A and we have to end up to A. Right. So I told you the distance around the shape right so this part plus this part plus this part plus this part four parts right so here a okay all sides are equal in a square all sides are equal so we have to add a plus a plus a plus a that is 4a units that is your perimeter next one is rectangle so rectangle opposite sides are Equal, so one side is considered as B and one side is considered as L. Okay, so this is the length and this is the breadth. So the formula for finding out the area of the rectangle is L into B square units. Okay, next for finding out the perimeter, we have to add all the sides. Already I told you, okay, the distance around the shape. So L plus this is also B, this is also L. So L plus B plus L plus B. That is 2 into L plus B. 2 times L plus B. Is it clear? That is your formula for finding out a perimeter of a rectangle. The third one is right triangle. Right triangle means uh, if any one angle is equal to 90 degree means that triangle is known as right angle triangle. So in this right angle triangle they gave this as a height. This is the height of this triangle and this is the base of the triangle. And sides are also given A, B and C. Now the formula for finding out the area of uh, this right triangle is Half into base into height square units. I didn't, I forgot to write the units here. So square units. Then perimeter means we have to add the distance around the shape. So we have to add A plus B plus C. That is your formula for finding a perimeter of a 
right triangle. I think you all have already learned this. Just to recall these formulas again. Okay. Now we are going to see what is a parallelogram. Okay. We are going to learn the properties of a parallelogram first. Okay. So parallelogram. I have drawn one parallelogram here with the sides A, B, C, D. That is AB as one side, BC one side, CD one side and AD as another side. So quad, it is a quadrilateral. What is meant by quadrilateral? Quadrilateral is nothing but the shape which has four sides. Okay. A shape with four sides is nothing but quadrilateral. We can say this as quadrilateral. I think you all know the meaning for mono. Mono means one. Di or uh, bi means two. Tri means three. I think you all know about triangle. So triangle has three sides and three angles. So, so only we call that shape as triangle. Right. So now this is quadrilateral. Quad means four. So four sided closed figures are also known as quadrilateral. And also square is also a quadrilateral and rectangle is also a quadrilateral. Now we are going to learn parallelogram. This is also a quadrilateral. Okay. This is also a type of quadrilateral. Okay. Which has two pairs of parallel lines. Okay. Two pairs. Okay. Pairs means two. So this is one pair and this is one pair of Parallel lines. So these two lines are parallel. And these two lines are parallel. Parallel lines never touch each other. Okay. Uh, a very good example for parallel lines are the railway track. You should remember this railway track for parallel lines. Okay. So parallel. This is one pair of parallel lines. And this is one pair of parallel lines. So two pairs of Parallel lines. Okay. So parallel sides are equal. So these parallel sides are also equal. You can uh, you can also say that opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram. We, we have uh, the same property for another one shape already you learned. What is that? Can you say that? Yes, it is a rectangle. Rectangle also have the similar. Some of the properties are similar to parallelogram. Okay. So now... Uh, this is a parallelogram. I have drawn a parallelogram. So, height of the parallelogram. We can't say this is a height. Right? This is not the height of the parallelogram. So, we are uh, drawing a line here to find out the height of the parallelogram. And this base is again known as the base of the parallelogram. Okay? So, now the area of the parallelogram is base into height. Okay, we have to multiply the base as well as the height. Okay, in your book they have given one picture. So, in that picture they have shown uh, four boys. Those who are, uh, uh, that is, they are holding the edges of the rectangle and they are pulling the rectangle uh, towards their right side and it shows as a parallelogram. If you are pulling this side of a parallelogram, that is, rectangle towards your right means it will look like a parallelogram okay so the difference between parallelogram and rectangle are in a rectangle all the angles are 90 degree but in parallelogram all the sides are not equal to 90 degree okay so shall we go into our topic uh, we are going to see some example problems regarding this parallelogram uh, formula okay pa area of the parallelogram formula now, see this picture in your book. Okay. It has two pictures. So, first the rope is arranged like a rectangle. And the three, cor that is four corners are held by one person. Right. So, this is A, B, C and D. Uh, okay. Each corners are held by the, by one person. Now, the po these two person are pulling the rope towards their right. So, this looks like a parallelogram. That's why I told you, if you are pushing one side of the parallelogram towards your right means, it will look like a parallelogram. Is it clear? So, same thing they have given here and also in your book, they have explained this uh, with a diagram. Okay. Uh, how many squares are there inside this uh, parallelogram? That is known as area. Okay. The, that is the space enclosed by a Closed figure is said to be area. So, they are calculating the space that is included inside this parallelogram. So, after counting, 
we can say this as the uh, breadth and this as a length. The same thing we are calculating as height and base of the parallelogram and we have written the formula. Okay. Is it clear? So the formula for finding out area of the parallelogram is base into height square units. Is it clear? Example 2.3. So find the height h of the parallelogram whose area and base are 368 square centimeter and 23 centimeter respectively. Okay. Now we have to find out the height of the parallelogram. Okay. What are all the things given? Area is given and also base is given. Okay. Now we have to find out the height. Is it clear? So I have written the given part first. So area is given as 368 square centimeter and B that is base is given as 23 centimeter. Okay. Now we have to find out the solution. So whenever uh, we are finding out the solution for this measurement uh, chapter that is problems in measurement chapter. We have to write the formula first. Okay. So I have written the formula. So area of the parallelogram is equal to base into height square units. Okay. Now I am going to substitute the values. So area of the parallelogram value we know. So I have substituted the value as 368. Base is 23 and h we have to find out. So I kept this h as it is. Now we have to bring this 20, 23 to the other side. We have to find out the value for h. So I am taking this 23 to the other side. Here the operation is multiplication. So while bringing this to the other side, the operation will become as division. So 368 divided by 23. So while dividing, you can either divide it using uh, 23 or else I found out the value that 23 into 16 is 368. So we can cancel this out. So, 123 is 23, 16, 23 is 368. Now, so my value for H is 16 centimeter. So, we can write the answer as the height of the parallelogram is 16 centimeter. Example 2.5. The base of the parallelogram is thrice its height. If the area is 192 square centimeter, find the base and height. Okay, here... The base of the parallelogram is thrice its height in Kutrakam. Okay. So thrice its height means three times its height. Okay. So I have written base equal to 3H. And area is also given as 192 square centimeter. So we have to find out the base and height. Here they have mentioned base in terms of height only. Okay. They, are, they didn't give us the measurement of the base. Base or a direct on a value kudukula. They have explained as the base as three times height. Height to which base a So we have to find out B as well as height in this problem. Okay, base and height. But area is given as 192 square centimeter. Okay, so for solution, I have written area of the parallelogram is base into height square, square units. So now area of the parallelogram is given as 192. Okay, so base is given as 3H. Right? So H as it is, right? I have written H as it is. Now I am multiplying 3H into H. 3H into 1H. 3 ones are 3. H into H is H square. Okay. So now 192 I have written. Now H squared is equal to this 3. Okay. In 3 ko H ko relationship in the, the operation is multiplication. So I am taking this 3 to the other side. Then division the work. Okay. Wow. So, h squared is equal to 192 divided by 3. Now, I am cancelling out 1, 3 is 3. Here, I have taken 19. So, 6, 3 is 18. Balance 1. So, 1 will become here. 1 will come here and this number becomes 12. So, 4 times 4, 3 is 12. So, 64 is my answer. So, h square equal to 64. h square is nothing but h into h. So, h into h is 64. So, 64, we can split this 64 as square number. 64, how, uh, 64 is a square number. So, we can write 64 as 8, 8 are 64. So, h into h is equal to 8 into 8. So, value of h is 8 centimeter. Okay, now we found out the value for h. But we have to find out the value, value for base also. What is base here? 3 times h. So, 3 into h. h is 8. So, 3 8 are 24. So, my base is 24 centimeter. Okay, is it clear? So now we found out the value for height and the base of the parallelogram. So this is your answer.
this video uh, I have explained you the introduction part of measurement uh, and some of the uh, recalling portions from your last year the sixth standard uh, topics and we have learned the properties of parallelogram and also the formula for finding out the area of the parallelogram some of the example problems related to that formula right so thank you for watching my video uh, if you still didn't subscribe my channel means please do subscribe my channel and if you like my video means click like button thank you